Well, not exactly the result you do want against Liverpool. Thankfully, it's pre-season, but it, it, it is still disappointing to see. And yes, I know it was a secondary team. Jose's comments about it being a, a youth team against Liverpool's first team is being taken out of proportion. I'm sure he meant reserves. Like, uh, we did have a lot of youngsters in the squad, but when you've got a couple of older players in there, like 35-year-old Lee Grant, uh, obviously Alexis and Mata, who are, well, 20, I think 29 and 30, or 29 and 29, it's going to drum up the age a bit, but, I mean, the entire back five, uh, Bai was the most experienced at 24, and then, you know, you've got a couple of teenagers and a couple of low 20s in there. Uh, midfield, uh, you've got Herrera again, that drums up the age a bit, 27, maybe 28, uh, and then Herrera and um, McTominay, who are both young as well. So, all in all, he, he basically meant a reserve squad. We had two players that I would say get into our best 11, and that's without us even signing anyone, so Alexis and Bailly. You could argue maybe Mata could be in there, maybe Pereira after all these displays, but before this game you wouldn't have either of them in there. So Alexis and Bailly are only two that played in that game that you would say, yeah, are in our best 11. Whereas Liverpool, they had Salah, they had Mane, they had Van Dijk, they had Henderson, and they had Fabinho. All of them you would put into their starting 11 at the minute, Shakiri made a massive uh, impact on the game so possibly he could be inducted into their best 11. Uh, they also played Robertson in the second half which is another one there so they had a lot more players that would fit into their uh, best 11 and they were a little bit further ahead in pre-season because of their players having been there for a little bit longer, their signings having been there without being injured and everything so yeah they're, they're ahead in their pre-season and their preparation which is understandable but still you don't want to be losing 4-1. Uh, the first half, I thought we played really, really well there. Considering the difference in the teams, uh, Axel Twanzebe did a fantastic job uh, of shrouding and basically stopping uh, Mohamed Salah getting properly into the game. He still had a couple of chances. Uh, I mean, it's Salah, you know, he's, he's going to. Uh, but he didn't score and he didn't assist. I don't think he... No, he did. Yeah, well, technically he assists because uh, penalty when you get fouled you know, that counts as an assist, but it was Dimitri Mitchell who gave away the penalty. Stupid penalty. Salah's going nowhere, like he's going towards the corner flag. Let him go. If he turns and spins and gets a crossing, we've been dealing with them all the rest of the first half. So, you know, stupid uh, to bring him down, but I suppose that's the inexperience of his youth. Uh, anyway, yeah, then Mane slots away the penalty 1 0, but shortly after that, a superb free kick from Andres Pereira. The shining light in a not so good preseason. Um, I know that I, I really enjoyed the game against AC Milan, but you know, after that we, we learned that Matic isn't going to be fit for the first game of the season. Valencia isn't going to be fit for the first game of the season. Um, I'm sure there was another injury off the top of my head. I can't even remember. Uh, it's a big one as well. Wait, in some eyes. Bailly was actually injured, but um, Smalling picked up an injury uh, before this game. I don't know how serious, but apparently Bailly stepped up. He said to Mourinho, look, I want to play. And apparently he's got a swollen ankle, so I don't know if he'll play any part against Real Madrid. Who knows? Um, but yeah, then you've also got Martial, who's obviously at the birth of his child. Um, I, I, I can understand Mourinho's frustration with Martial. Like, fair enough, going to the birth of child, etc., but... Uh, when that happened, he did expect that he would come back, and I can understand that, especially when you've only got Alexis as an attacker. And I suppose he wouldn't have been as bothered if all this bull... Wait, it's not bull. All this talk about Martial wanting to leave. So, you know, Martial hasn't returned yet, and to be fair, he's probably going to get sold, and I'm not too bothered if he goes now late. It's pointless having an unhappy player. Of course, he's a terrific player on his day, but he plays in a position... We're, we're not exactly lacking at the minute, even with our depleted squad. Left wing is one of our stronger positions. We've got Alexis, we've got Rashford, Lingard can play there. Um, so I'm not really that fussed if he does go. Of course, he's a fantastic talent and I'd prefer him to go abroad. Um, but yeah, like, 
at the end of the day, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work, unfortunately. But uh, yeah, anyway, back onto the game. As I say, Andres Pereira, really, really shining light in this uh, pre-season tour. He's definitely starting against Leicester. Uh, considering all of our injury rules and the fact that Pogba probably won't be back, Matic is going to be injured. Uh, I would say our midfield three at the minute, I'd, I'd probably... Right, Mourinho said that Jones and Rashford are going to be coming onto the pre-season, cutting their holiday short. And also Lindelof is due this week, I think, as well. So, for the first game against Leicester, considering Valencia's injury, uh, injured, Bailly hopefully isn't actually injured, I would have this as the team. So it would be De Gea, uh, Timothy Fosumenta and Shaw as wing-backs. And I'd have a back three of, at the minute, I mean, it's going to be Jones. Unless, of course, we sign a centre-back. Jones, um, Bailly, because I don't know Smalling's injury either. Like, is that heavy? Is it not? Um, but if Smalling is injured, then I'd have Bailly, Jones and Lindelof as the back three. I'd have a midfield three of Pereira, Fred um, and Mata. I'd push him into midfield and then have Rashford and Alexis up front. Uh, but we'll, we'll see. We've still got two pre-season games in that. But as I say, first off, we played pretty well and uh, considering the teams and it went into the break at 1-1 and after that we might as well have just like the players thought the full-time whistle was at half time like they gave up whereas Liverpool didn't they brought on a lot of their youngsters etc in the second half they also brought on Shakiri, as I say Robertson a couple of other you know other players in the squad but they actually went for it like they wanted to win we didn't like we kept our team pretty much the same until about 75 minutes in where we brought on Fred for his first minutes of the pre-season tour. Hard to see, you know, hard to judge him off these 15 minutes because Liverpool were literally in the second half just on the front foot for the entire thing. So it's really difficult to judge. I mean, he, he had a couple of decent tackles, stuff like that. But again, you can't really judge him off a 15-minute display where the other team is literally on top for the entirety of the 15 minutes that he's been under the pitch. Uh, as I say, the, the team gave up. Uh, the second penalty that Liverpool got it wasn't a penalty, let's be honest, like Mane dived a little bit, um, but anyway, they slot that in with Ojo, I think that might have been the third goal, honestly, who the fuck gives a fuck? <laughs> um, I'm trying to remember their other fucking score, obviously I know the fourth goal was Shakiri. that was a wonderful overhead kick, oh, yeah, I do remember, Sturridge got subbed on, and uh, Shakiri did some wonderful work in the box, passes it off, Sturridge's first touch is a goal, and as I say, a wonderful uh, overhead kick. Uh, I can't remember who crossed it in for him, but yeah, a terrific overhead kick and just a shambles in defence. The defence was good in the first half. Twan Tabe, as I say, did a great job on Salah, but they went off at half-time, Salah and Mane. Uh, and Fossumensa really had a good game as well. Bailly, you could tell he was injured. He, he wasn't great in this game, unfortunately. But in the second half, none of them really were. Like, it, it, the whole team just gave up and uh, it was a bit annoying and I know a lot of uh, fans are annoyed at Mourinho's post-match comments but to be honest every single one I agree with like they're all negative but about the Martial thing I've already spoke about he, he also uh, said why does Alexis look frustrated and he went he's literally the only striker in the team the only attacker in the team and he's having to do everything by himself pretty much which is it's fair enough like Matt is playing in that role but Matt uh, doesn't know that role you know that second striker role and he's doing an adequate job but you know it, it's not Rashford it's not Lukaku it's not Martial you know these players who are on holiday or at the birth of their, their child obviously it's an unfortunate situation but I, I agree like I, I agree with Mourinho like why Alexis is a little bit frustrated and um, he also said oh god there was loads of stuff Mourinho said but like he was very frustrated about transfers he made it clear that he gave five targets months ago and um, he, he only expects to get one of them by the end of the window which come on man we need we need three like we really need three we need a centre back a left back and a right wing like how hard is it but I mean two at the bare minimum in centre back and right wing but we're probably going to end up with just a centre back which it, it's not good enough. I, like Mourinho's going to end up with three out of five of his targets if we're lucky, because uh, I doubt Lee Grant was one. Like that, that would have just been like the club getting a, a homegrown third choice goalkeeper that Mourinho's happy with. That wouldn't have been on the list of players that Mourinho wanted, I'm sure. Um, 
And then there was another comment that Mourinho said, like, he, he said a lot, like, but again, I agree with it. Uh, like, everything he said, it, it is negative. It's not really what you want to hear when the season's about a week and a half away. But you can't expect him to be happy with everything. Like, yeah, I know clubs have World Cup players that aren't returning, but we are, I'd say alongside City, maybe, um, we have the most that are unavailable. I'd say Chelsea have a, a, like, a few big ones as well, obviously, in Hazard and Courtois. Arsenal, Liverpool don't really have too many. And Spurs, wait, uh, fair enough, Spurs have a lot that are missing as well. Um, but yeah, and then there's also these injuries that we keep picking up in Matic, in Valencia, in Smalling, in Bailly, key players. I also don't know if he said anything about Shaw, if he was injured. Hopefully not. I presume he just rested him because we know Shaw's injury records in the past. He doesn't want to injure the left back, the only left back that we'll have for the start of the season unless Young cuts his holiday short. Like, I don't expect players to cut their holiday short. I know Mourinho, in his head, he, he won't really want the players to, but he does because of the lack of players and the amount of injuries that we are picking up. But... The players are humans, they are entitled to their holiday, so that would be the one thing where I'm not as agreeable uh, with Mourinho on. I know he's just saying it out of frustration and out of lack of options, but they are entitled to their holiday, so I, for one, am not going to hate the players if they take their full duration of holiday, even with the prices that we're in. But we've got some great mentality, sorry, some good, fuck's sake, the players have great mentalities who are on holiday, so they, they might look at it and say, look, you know what, fuck it, I'm going to come back, I'm going to help the team. So we'll see, but if they don't, I'm not going to begrudge them because they are entitled to holidays. They are humans after all. I know they're on extortionate wages, etc. But three weeks of holiday out of, you know, 52 weeks of football, it's not, you know, you kind of begrudge them it. But anyway, terrible result. We move on, really. Real Madrid, Bayern Munich, we'll see if uh, we don't get slaughtered in those, hopefully. Um, and then on to the Leicester game where that's, where it matters obviously so we need no matter what the circumstances we need to pick up three points 